How does public policy work? This is a short video from the Global Public Policy Committee of the IEEE. When you ask how public policy works, you need to remember that there is a public in the public policy. Public policy involves moving the public, or at least some part of it, in an attempt to accomplish some general good. In this, the government is only an agent. It's only one part of the discussion. Our focus should be on the public. When we talk about the public, rather than making it an abstract group, we want to think of it in terms of transactions. It's a very common model for public policy. All activity of the public is seen in exchanges between two or more parties. There is no isolated activity in this model, or at least none that we care about. We're interested in looking at the effects on the parties involved in these transactions, the effects on parties not involved in them, and also on effects in the social structure. Now, we want to think about our public policy as doing something to expand present activity and secure our future. We want to expand our transactions. We want to have incentives for new kinds of transactions. We want to build new markets or social activities. And often this requires us to think about balancing powers within markets. Looking to the future, we want to avoid negative consequences of transactions. Now, we say we want to promote transactions. We want to create a new industry, develop a new product, create a new service. To do that, we need to create a market. We need to bring buyers and sellers together. Sometimes that requires us to circulate knowledge, to build up a body of information about what is involved and how people can use this technology or service. Sometimes it requires us to develop standards so that there is a standard product or a standard service that everyone can use and understand. Quite commonly, we have to think about reducing the cost of the market. And that can sometimes be found in doing things to build up a workforce so that the participants don't have to build that workforce themselves. Sometimes it can involve building infrastructure to help support the market. Sometimes public policy uses taxes to encourage investment so that investors see their money go farther, so that they get a higher return on investment for what they bring forth to the market. Sometimes governments get involved in markets directly by procuring the goods and services. That's a way that they can ensure that there is a minimum market and that others can benefit by having that guaranteed market already existing. Reducing risk is a big part of public policy and a big part of building markets. One way of reducing risk as you build your market is to protect your intellectual property, patents, copyrights, and things like that. But you can also protect your market by protecting it and protecting their participants against unintended actions and the consequences of those unintended actions. Often, this takes the form of what we call regulation, that we regulate activity. We restrict the time, the places, the personnel who can be involved in it. We limit the circumstances, require specific materials, all of these things to improve safety, but really to limit risk to the general public. Now, these are all examples of things that go on as part of the public policy debate really doesn't answer the question, how does public policy work, so much as it shows you some of the examples of the discussion that goes on. We'll flesh out these examples in further videos. But right now, we want to encourage you to think of public policy as something that affects transactions, and that the public is indeed seen in the grand sum of all the transactions it creates. We want to encourage new activity. We want to have people look to future opportunities. And at the same time, we want to mitigate future risks. And so as you get involved in policy, some of the most important discussions involve the questions of what are we trying to promote and what are we trying to avoid? This is a video from the IEEE's Global Public Policy Committee.